Major changes may be coming for dog owners weeks after dogs mauled a man to death. Local leaders are now demanding accountability. Fox San Antonio's Amanda Henderson explains why dog attack survivors say it might not be enough. San Antonio city leaders want to crack down on dangerous dog owners. It's long overdue, but people that have these dogs, they need to have strict rules and re regulations. Doris Mixon Smith survived a dog attack six years ago. She lost part of her arm and suffered facial injuries. And when I look up, here comes this dog after me, and I holler, God, please help. Next thing I woke, next time I woke up, it was seven days later. Weeks after a dog attack killed Ramon Najera and injured three others, city leaders are presenting the good neighbor proposal. District 5 is where the attack happened, and Councilwoman Terry Castillo says the proposal has been a collaborative effort. Moving with urgency around this issue is important for a number of reasons. If passed, areas with a large number of 911, 311, and non-emergency calls will be addressed. Owners could be cited criminally in certain situations. ACS is also working with municipal courts to resolve dangerous dog cases. Reading of the proposed ordinance is that the city of San Antonio would be operating within state law. Um, we are essentially creating a program that's going to allow um, the sharing of information. The proposal also mentioned city staff have worked with state legislators to enhance dangerous dog enforcement. One of those is authored by State Senator Jose Menendez. The ordinance would lock up dangerous dogs and give protection to those who file paperwork. In this particular case, um, people have received threats from the people involved. And so uh, we don't want people to not report because they fear for their lives. Or Mixon Smith says she'd like to hear more on how the proposal will be enforced. Until then, she will be there for anyone impacted by a dog attack. I'd have been ready for me to go. Then I would have gone. He had a purpose to leave me here. I did ask Councilwoman Castillo what happens if when the proposal is put forward on April 5th, if it passes, and she says at that time she believes it will go immediately into effect. Amanda Henderson, Fox News at 9.